What's going on YouTube? Chiasna right here. So in today's video I have more details about the vulnerability that was released yesterday and whether we can use it on a jailbreak or not. There have been some developments and clarifications in the community so we're going to get into that. So as you probably remember today I made a video in which I talked about SAR's vulnerability. They posted this in here along with a complete write-up which explains everything you need to know. Now this vulnerability was patched on 14.7.1. It's the only vulnerability that was patched in iOS 14.7.1 one is the IO mobile frame buffer here and it was released by the developer Sar Amar. So apparently there have been some developments and clarifications thanks to Raz in here. Raz posted that this vulnerability requires a special entitlement that user apps don't have but the web content or Safari has. So this wouldn't be very useful for Uncover, however it would be tremendously useful for the Pawn Mai, which is a jailbreak that we currently have in development which is Safari based and the WebKit exploit for that already exists thanks to this developer in here who posted it back on May. So with these in place we would be able to create a jailbreak for iOS 14.6 and lower and possibly even for 14.7 because the WebKit exploit may still work on iOS 14.7. It's not confirmed, we don't know for sure at this point, but it does work for 14.6 as far as I know. So right now as you probably know iOS 14.7.1 is signed and also 14.7 is signed in here. The rest of them are no longer signed like 14.6. So if you're running 14.6 and lower it's a great thing because you will be able to take advantage of this vulnerability here that was released today and it can still very much be used for pawn my in here. Though we do have to finish the exploit that was published in here because it's not complete. However the write-up does contain everything we need to know in order to complete it. Especially for a security researcher with a lot of experience this should be pretty trivial. In fact a security researcher called Modern Pawner did already completed and they have it in here they have full kernel read and write with the same vulnerability but they said that since this is very easy to create it's an easy exploit to create they will keep this one in here for later in order to prove some point I don't know what point they're trying to prove but they said in here on their Twitter that it should be pretty trivial to create the exploit for this in here so I'm not afraid it will take too much time however the information that was posted here is very very good there is also a proof of concept that was posted and it's available in here on GitHub. And if you go here on the POC, there is exploit.c. So it contains a lot of things. The POC is available here, and from the POC, you can start creating the exploit further. So this indeed looks pretty good. However, it's not complete. We still need to work a little bit on it. And because of the entitlement in here, it will be only usable in Safari, which means that we can only use this for Pawn My in this current capacity. However, the Pawn My jailbreak would even be better than Uncover and Torin because this one would not require any IPA file or any computer or any signing. You would just have to go to a website in Safari, you would press jailbreak and you would be good to go. You would be jailbroken directly in Safari. So there would be no IPA to expire or to get unsigned or to get revoked and so on. So it's not exactly a problem in there. And we already have the WebKit exploit for 14.6 and lower, so that's actually quite great. But yeah, I wanted to make this video to include Raz's clarifications because yes, this vulnerability cannot be used for Uncover or Torin because it requires a special entitlement that can only be found in Safari or web content. So that is that, but it can still be used for Pawn My, but it does mean that we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for this to be completed first by somebody. While you wait, I would like to mention that I have created a new page here on my website, iDeviceCentral.com, where you can now find the iOS signing status. So if you go ahead here on iOS signing status and you select your iOS device, for example, I'm going to say iPhone 12, which is 13.3 here, it's going to tell you which iOS versions are signed and which iOS versions are not. And this works for all devices including the iPads and iPhone and iPod Touch and so on all the way down to the oldest. For example you can see iPhone 2G in here which is the very first iPhone. And yes surprisingly there aren't any signed firmware for this because Apple didn't use to sign them at that time. And the information in here is actually provided by the API from ipsw.me so you know it's updated in real
real time. I don't have to manually update this. Once a new iOS version is available or it gets unsigned, it will be automatically updated in here. So definitely bookmark it to check it when you want to check the signing status. But yeah, that's basically it about this vulnerability. It's a very great one. It's the biggest vulnerability we've had since iOS 14.3 and it's definitely usable for jailbreak purposes. But the biggest jailbreak that will benefit from this will be Pawn My, which will be a Safari based jailbreak, which in my opinion is a better way of jailbreaking anyways. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.